oh yeah, uh, we're going through canon events in the story Come until, in. you know, the game takes its own path in the story. Just letting you know that. Whoa, whoa, if I click L3, I can actually take away the Hey, box. Lieutenant Colonel Hughes! Dude, this is perfect for thumbnails, actually. Hmm, I should do that more often. Hey guys, it's been a while. It sure has. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in Central? Yeah. You think this doting daddy would willingly come all this way for anything other than a mission? No. You got that right. Oh, I miss my little girl already. <laughs> I mean, seriously, <laughs> like his voice actor did say, I've got a wife and kid to go home to. <laughs> so, what's the summons for? I assume it's related to the mission that the lieutenant colonel's here for. <laughs> the funny thing about it is, I'm not joking. Hughes' voice actor actually got his role because he walked off and said, listen, I've got a wife and kid to go home to. I believe I'm out of time, so I better get going. It's so strange, but yes, that's how he got it. <laughs> and it's just like, Al's voice actor actually got in because he fell over into a garbage can behind the stool because he was like leaning over against the booth <laughs> when he was doing his lines. And all they could hear is just like, help me, help me, like they could just hear a faint voice. <laughs> it's just Oh man, it's hilarious. <laughs> Actually, I ordered you boys here for a different reason. Yeah, but trust me, if I can get that DVD and pull up the extras, I'll probably put that in the video. But I do have something that I want to ask you guys. Let me go first. Okay. Have you two heard of a guy named Scar? Oh, Scar. Scar? No, can't say that I have. He's a suspected serial killer who only targets state alchemists. We know nothing of his background or motives. Thumbnail material. The only information we have is that he has a big scar on his forehead. Hence the name Scar, of course. There have recently been several witness accounts here in East City of a man who looks like Scar. <laughs> And I'm the one in charge of the case. That's why I dragged myself all the way out here. Yep. Well, the witness accounts aren't all that reliable. There must be hundreds of men with a scar on their forehead. <laughs> so what you're saying is that a bunch of rumors are sparking a wild goose chase. Yeah, but the difference between those scars is that Scar has an X-shaped scar can't escape from crossing fate. <laughs> ah, don't say that. We could be dealing with the real thing. I, I just had to say that. <laughs> I just had to say that. <laughs> there just aren't enough leads. For now, we just have to look into every witness account we get. And Edward, since you're a state alchemist too, you have every reason to be targeted by Scar. Yeah, don't worry. So watch your back, okay? If you ever feel like you're in danger, let me or Roy know immediately. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. So, on to the main topic of the day. It's not just Scar who's causing a stir in the East. There are others. Oh, really? You mean those terrorists? Sure, they're not very pleasant, but didn't we get them all? No, no. no. Small fries like that are none of my concern. He's talking about the vanishings here in the East. Everybody's talking about it, even the people in Central. <laughs> Vanishings? Yeah, people are disappearing, bro. There has been a rash of inexplicable cases from all parts of the East where people just suddenly vanish. And this is where the original stuff in the game happens. Like, they're talking about it right now. One village apparently lost its entire population. Overnight, I might add. Investigations are turning up nothing. Locals have started to complain. They're scared out of their minds. Now we're getting rumors like people are getting sucked into the ground or the monsters did it. It's ludicrous. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's ludicrous. <laughs> hmm. 
monsters. <laughs> Since you boys are on the road, I was hoping you might have caught wind of something. Hence the summons. Yeah, we kind of did. Um... <laughs> So, any of this ringing any bells? Kinda. Well, there was that word incident in Lior. Yeah, we were attacked by monsters when we were in Lior. Yeah. Monsters, you say? We're serious! Inside this guy named Cornello's temple. And then he got sucked in. We actually thought Cornello might have created those monsters himself. Got sucked in by a blue lady. <laughs> Cornello, in Lior. Isn't he the so-called prophet of Leto? Yes. Nah, he was a faker. He was just using the Philosopher's Stone to perform miracles and hoodwink the town. You mean to tell me that this prophet had the Philosopher's Stone in his possession? Yeah, it was a fake. Well, it turned out the stone was fake. I mean, it had some powers, but it cracked and fell apart. <laughs> a fake Philosopher's Stone, eh? It was probably what we refer to as the Crimson Stone. Yeah. Yeah, I saw those reports too. It's apparently going around as an amplifier for transmutations. Going around? You mean there's more than one of those fake stones? But a fake is a fake, and it's dangerously unstable. It frequently creates a rebound back onto the person who's transmuting. Yeah, we've seen that already firsthand. Somebody must be making them, but whether it's an individual or a group, we still have no idea. Don't worry, I'll find out. Wow, even if we get our hands on one, we shouldn't use anything that dangerous. <laughs> Good point. But if these monsters really exist, maybe we should conduct an investigation on this Cornello guy. He's still in Lior, right? No. No, he was killed. He was sucked into the ground right in front of our eyes. Full Metal, you're not regurgitating the rumors I just told you, are you? No. There's a strange woman nearby, and we assumed it was her doing, but we don't know anything for sure. And then as soon as Cornella was gone, the woman melted away into the ground as well. Melted away, huh? <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, Colonel. What do you make of this ring? What's this? I just told you, it's a ring. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't accept a gift like this from another man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, gay. Ah, it's not a gift, you moron! <laughs> oh, so you're giving it to a girl? <laughs> you're blossoming early, shrimp. What? That ain't it either, and don't call me a shrimp! <laughs> It looks like a normal, old ring to me. Is there something special about it? Yeah, well, no. If you've never seen it before, then it's nothing. Just forget it. <sighs> hmm, something's fishy here, and it ain't cod. Yeah, it ain't Call of Duty. <gasps> Wait a minute. You're not planning on wooing my daughter from an early age, are you? Mm. Excuse me? No. Roy, let's grill this shrimp. I'll get the skewers. And I'll provide the flames. How could you, Ed? Trying to win her favor from the age of two. You start early, don't you? Mm, no, he didn't even have had her. He's 15. He's a child. Shut up! Well, all jokes aside, I think we were right to call you boys in. Yeah, now we know for sure that these monsters exist. That ought to help our investigations. Well then, I guess you owe me one big time, Colonel. <laughs> uh, the thought of having to owe you one gives me the creeps. What is it you want? That's my Colonel. Do you know of any alchemists around town who specialize in biological transmutation? Biological transmutation? There is a specialist on Chimera Synthesis who lives in the city, Shao Tucker. Yep. 
He successfully synthesized a talking chimera two years ago. He was certified and dubbed the Sewing Life Alchemist. A talking chimera? You mean he made a chimera that talks like a person? Mm -hmm. So it seems. I wasn't in charge then, so I haven't seen it myself. Why don't you pay Xiao a visit? Oh, I can tell where this is going. <laughs> Oh, I only got an hour and 53 minutes left. Here we are. This must be Mr. Tucker's house. Yep. It's awfully quiet. Is anybody even here? <laughs> Hello? Mr. Tucker? No response. Maybe everybody's out. Oh, come on. We came all this way and nobody's home? Wait. That door's unlocked. <laughs> huh? Ed, you can't just barge into someone's house unannounced. Hello? Mr. Tucker? Anybody home? Hello? Still no answer. Yeah, they're all probably out. But then why would the door be unlocked? Something doesn't feel right, Al. Let's have a look around inside. Something is wrong. What? Ed? We're coming in! Oh, brother. Okay. <laughs> Well, how do we save here? Hey, look! We're on the same part! Okay, now let's just... Yeah, let's, let's keep going. <laughs> I want to destroy everything. Like, I just want to ravage his house. <laughs> there really is no one here. But I don't see anything unusual. <laughs> They probably just forgot to lock the door before leaving the house. No. Wait, Al. What's that over there? Oh, some books? Huh? <laughs> nope, it's a bloodstain. Ed, I... I don't think that's paint. It's blood, all right. What could have happened here? Look at this. These glasses. Are they Mr. Tucker's? The mm. amount of blood on the floor here. Nobody could lose this much and still. Must be dead. <laughs> nope. Uh, what? What was that? Keep quiet, Al. It sounded like it came from underneath us. <laughs> You think this house has a basement? Yeah. Maybe. Let's snoop around and see what we can find. Be about to read some books, boy. More blood. Look, there's more blood here. I really think we should report to the colonel before we go any further. I'm getting a real bad feeling about this. We've already come this far. We can look around a little bit more by ourselves. There's no point in going back. But we shouldn't be poking around like this. What are you looking at? It's a picture. Probably of Mr. Tucker. Man. Huh. Is that his daughter in the picture? 
Yes, it is. If it is, and if this blood is hers. Uh. <laughs> hey, Al, look at this over here. Here's the shocking truth. Is that a diary? Yeah, looks like it's Mr. Tucker's. Let's see. Oh, man, it's nothing but squiggles all over. I can hardly read any of it. Well, you'd expect that from a doctor. Let's see if I can manage to decipher any of this chicken scratch. Yeah, this has been really weird, right? Second Chimera successful. This, this is some disturbing stuff. Not the product of a healthy mind. It's the diary of a madman. None of the other pages are even legible. It makes me ill just looking at the handwriting. Hey, look. Something fell out of the diary. Huh? What's this? That looks familiar. That's the philosopher's stone. That's the crimson stone. Or broken pieces of it, at least. No way. Mr. Tucker had the same fake philosopher's stone as Cornello? And this is where the non canon stuff meets the canon. Remember what Lieutenant Colonel Hughes told us? There's a lot of these crimson stones going around. But what could you have been doing with this, Mr. Tucker? Hmm. Okay, what's over here? Oh, there's something on the floor. Oh, a dog collar. I'm intentionally leveling only myself up. This must be where he kept the chimeras he synthesized. The cage is broken. Did the chimeras break out themselves? Or... Chat time's over, Al. Looks like these chimeras are hungry. And we're on the plate! Give it to him! Get it. Get it. Huh. Yes, these things are built to bounce off the walls like this. I'm not joking, they're built to do this. Oh, there's none up here? No, I'm serious. All I have to do is just sit back and just spam these things. And there you go. What was this? There's nothing here. Why is the music still going? <laughs> I just killed it with a I just killed it with a ball. Are you kidding me? Mr. Tucker could have been attacked by one of his own chimeras? Maybe. Not very likely. No. Look at that. No, definitely not. <laughs> A chimera couldn't do this. Whoever made this hole was probably the one who got Mr. Tucker. Looks like it leads to the sewers. All right. Ready, Al? <laughs> huh? Ready for what? Oh no, not the sewers again. 
Oh yeah. Don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Hurry up. Oh, actually, if this was the anime, um, Tucker would have been stretched out on the back of a monster, and he would have made that hole. <laughs> Like, he'd actually be stretched out in front of that thing. Like, I'm not joking. He's, like, all the way on the back of the monster, and he just, like, stretches out. It's like... <laughs> Man, it's weird. You know, Hughes, I would really like to return to work now. Next up is this! Ta-da! This is from when we were at the beach. My wife and daughter are so cute. He's literally just showing them pictures. Don't you have to get back to work? Oh, maybe I should have made Full Metal stick around for this gut-churning display. <laughs> Colonel, we've got a problem. Scar? Havoc, what excellent timing. How would you like to sit in my chair and listen to Hughes talk about his... Havoc, really? No time for jokes, sir. Brigadier General Boss Gron was killed during his inspection visit. Mm. Brigadier Gron? You've got to be kidding. He's not only a state alchemist, he's also an expert on military combat. Scar? It was Scar, sir. Scar? So he really is here. With the Brigadier General gone, the only state alchemist in town are... Oh no, Roy! Deploy emergency troops throughout the city. Get as many men as you can. Follow me to the Tucker residence. Yes, sir. The boys have been gone for some time now. I hope they don't run into each other. I will not allow you to die within my jurisdiction, Full Metal. have to reek this unfathomably bad? Ew, and I just cleaned off all the crud from the last time, too. I want you to know, I hate this egg. There seems to be something about us in the sewers, all right. Hmm. Hmm? Were those footsteps? Yeah. Someone's nearby. Who could it be? Come on out. Al, what are you doing running into a monster and spitting out fire? What is wrong with you, boy? Ow. Okay. Now come on. Ow. Grab this thing. Okay. <laughs> There, now let's get out of here. We are beating up these animals. Ow. 
I know I was using a flamethrower, but come on, bro. Wait a minute, that wasn't me using the flamethrower. Hold on. Oh no, I'm using the gun. Ow, get over here. That's literally like a giant shotgun I'm using. Ow, stop bothering that thing. Get over here. God. <laughs> Dude, he just ignored me for like a few seconds. For us to save. Alright, um, I will see you next time.